recent video, I asked if you wanted to see not a bookshelf tour, but a bookshelf tour of my bookshelf accessories. So what I meant to say there was, in my bookshelf tour, I asked if you wanted to see a bookshelf tour of my accessories. And a few of you said you did, so I'm gonna do that. But I'm not gonna do it in the same way I did my bookshelf tour, like, you know, taking the camera down my shelf because that would take me too long and it'd be far easier for me to just pull things off my shelf and show you. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get started. I'll start up in the top. So first thing up on the very top corner of my shelf, is my little wooden pumpkin. If you remember around Halloween time, this was in a more prominent place when I had my cube shelves. But wooden pumpkin um, for Halloween time. I know it's currently April, nothing to do with Halloween, but I like it a lot. So it just sits in the top corner and when it's closer to Halloween, I'll probably bring it down to a more visible place. But yeah, wooden pumpkin. Then we have book boxes, but I'm not gonna bother with them. I've got an owl crate and a nerdy bookworm box up there. And then, candle. First candle on my shelf is the last unicorn candle that G from Book Roast, or Burning Fiction, because she does both now, made. And this was like the first candle she ever, like, properly made and sent to someone. And oh my god, the smell of it is absolutely beautiful. As it was her first one, it's like, it's nothing compared to her most recent ones, but I still love it. And it's purple and sparkly and, oh, the smell, it smells like a wham bar, honestly. I love it. It's supposed to be... Uh, forest, wind, fresh apples, three rainbows and magic, but it smells like a wham bar. And I love it so much and I'm probably going to keep it forever because as I say it was one of our first ones and it's really special. Next we have my little peasant bell Funko Pop and bear with. I actually have a second one of these and when I reach a thousand followers on Instagram I'm planning on doing a giveaway for my second one. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go and do that. Jodie Ray Reads. Shameless self promo. Um, but yeah, when I reach a thousand followers, I'm gonna do a giveaway for this and probably a book, but I don't know what book yet. Next we have Poison Apple Candle from Flicker Ink, which smells like apple pie. It's a lovely gray color. I absolutely love this because I'm a candle addict, so I absolutely love all of my candles. But yeah, Poison Apple, which is a leering sweet apple. Next we then have the Geeky Clean um, Nephilim Candle that came in the March Fairy Loot box which smells like cherry and lime and every time I smell it I want to lick it but I'm not gonna do that. Then we have this little bookmark that came in a nerdy bookworm box I think from Happy Hello and it's one of the lads from the Infernal Devices but I haven't read the Infernal Devices so I don't know which one but I think it's Will. And then I have this, oh it was from a fairy loot, that's what it was from because it came in the same box as this. Uh, this is a little clockwork ring which came from my first ever fairy loot box I got and I can't remember when it was, like October I think maybe. And it was a steampunk, th steampunk theme and I got a little mechanical clockwork coppery looking ring which just sits on my shelf as well. Down the shelf we have a uh, winter bell, winter dress bell, I don't know what her name is, like what she's actually called, but bell in her little hooded winter dress. Uh, this one is probably my favourite bell because I just love the dress. And then we have Circus of Dreams candle which is like a proper candle from Burning Fiction, G, The Roast, whatever you want to call it. And I refuse to burn this because it smells too good and too precious and I just don't want to. But honestly, I swear to you, I have never seen a candle so perfect. And it smells of popcorn and fire and lovely things that you'd expect from a circus or a carnival or something. And that is Circus of Dreams from the night circus, obviously. Uh, then I have my second Burning Fiction candle, which is Calm Yo Tits, and this is just fantastic. This smell is phenomenal. Chilled rhubarb, sweet ass vanilla, and thoughts of puppies. And honestly, this smells so good. And no camera ever does it justice, but the color of it is absolutely stunning. It's got like tiny flecks of glitter in it and stuff, so when you burn it, it's like the prettiest thing ever. I don't know if I even need to say this, but if you are a candle person, go to G's Etsy page. Um, I'll link it below probably. Um, and if she has any stock up, if she has any of these up, oh my God, buy one. Cause honestly it's the best candle I own. I think I love it so much. So yeah, if she has any stock up, um, 
go and check it out. I'll leave the link to her shop down in the description. And she's based in the UK. She's based in Edinburgh. So if you're a UK candle lover, get one. Okay, moving on next. I have a little Mushu and a little Cricky from Mulan. I love these. I think these were like the first Funko Pops I ever got. I love Mulan. I love Mushu. I think these are adorable. Yeah, my first ones. Then I have these little bookmarks that came in the March Fairy Loot as well, which is the little phoenix and the little dragon. Super adorable. Love them. I don't think I'll ever actually use them as bookmarks because they seem a little bit flimsy and I don't want to break them, but they're pretty for like being on display, so I'll keep them on display. And then down a the shelf, I have my High Lady and High Lord candle from Two Candle Thieves. This is such a fresh smell. Fresh lilac, jasmine and night magic and yeah I really like this, it is a really fresh smell, it's definitely jasmine which every candle is if it's based around the high order of the night court. I love it, it's a really pretty colour and the label is absolutely gorgeous, their label designs are so good. <sighs> smells so fresh. My problem with these candles is I love the smell of them so much but I'm so scared of burning them and them running out that I never do because I don't ever want it to be over. Next I have a little Selena's cake candle from the Melting Library. I believe this came in an owl crate like ages ago and it's just a tiny little candle. To be honest I use this one for photos more than actually having the purpose of a candle because it's tiny and I feel like if I left it to burn for too long it would just disappear and I've used quite a lot of it so it's nearing its the end of its life but I think it's adorable in photos because it's tiny <laughs> and next I have ballroom bell yellow dress bell whatever bell you want to call this one she is my third bell Funko Pop I am a bell junkie and yeah she's adorable she is the biggest I don't know why she's so huge compared to the others but she's bigger than the other ones and of course I have her partner I have the beast as well and they sit together on my shelf moving down I have this box of Game of Thrones coasters. I don't use them as coasters, but they just sit with my Game of Thrones books. I then have a tiny little Anna Funko Pop, and I don't know why she sits with my Game of Thrones stuff, but she does. Maybe because she reminds me a little bit of Sansa with the red hair or the auburn hair. I don't know, but she sits on my Game of Thrones shelf as well, along with my Daenerys. I don't know why I've coupled these up, but I have. So Daenerys, her foot broke off and I did have to super glue it back together and now she doesn't quite balance properly. So she just kind of has to lean against something. Next I have Le Cirque de Rêves, another Circus of Dream candle. And I've only burnt this a tiny little bit because it's another one of the tiny ones that I'm probably only gonna use for photos because if I use it as a candle, it'll run out super quickly. Tiny little candle that smells like, what was it? Popcorn and caramel and burning and stuff. Again, um, anything you'd expect a circus to smell of, to be honest. And then right on the bottom, I just have two cheapy candles that are, this one is like nearly gone. And this one is just a little white one. I use this in photos a lot as well, just for a like top angle of a white candle. And then right on the bottom shelf, I have that tin of tea from a box was this yeah this was an alcrate box with the magnet stuck to it um i don't drink fancy teas so the tea is all still in here there it all is still in its little baggies and i'm never gonna drink it and then again all the way at the bottom i have this framed print that says i'm not going to die she said not till i've seen it seen what a smile widened everything okay moving up to the top of this shelf i have another framed print which is my roll and read um, I haven't actually used this yet and to be honest I just put this in this frame until I got like another print to go in it. Um, but it looks quite nice on the top of my bookshelf, I quite like it. <laughs> and then I have a fairy loot box up there as well. And next I then have an erudite candle from Meraki Candles. Um, again I just use this for photos really more than anything else. Then you can probably see them just here. But I've got a little Hermani Funko Pop, a little Luna Lovegood Funko Pop and her stand fell off. And then one of the little mystery mini Harry Funko things. Are these actually Funko? I don't know. But a little Harry. The trouble is going to be getting them to stand back up again now. Luna does not stand up. She has this little stand to help her, I suppose, but she just falls off it. Okay, next I have a William and Joseph Polyjuice Potion candle, which was from a Nerdy Bookworm box, and this smells like Palmer Violets. I don't use this an awful lot because the smell is very overpowering. Um, I've had it for a long time, and whenever I seem to burn it, it doesn't actually, like, go down. 
It's a really long lasting candle. Next shelf we have another one from Flicker Ink and this is Sea Witch which is inky black cherry and oh my god this smells so good like definitely cherry. <sighs> love it, love it, love it. And then my last Flicker Ink candle which is Love Potion and this is by far my favourite from Fl Flicker Ink um, and this is Magical Black Current and makes my mouth water whenever I smell it because it just smells like the purple starburst or purple skittles or blackcurrant sweets and it just makes my mouth really want to chew a purple starburst uh, and then i have a little owl crate card i think this looks super cute i really quite like it and then my llama drawers but you've seen them and i think you've seen my next shelf but i've got my beauty and the beast rose which is lovely my mum got this for me and i love it <laughs> A little pillar candle that's not a pillar candle because it's actually just hollow on the inside. A little turtle and tortoise. <laughs> Picture of me and my boyfriend. A tiny little Big Ben snow globe that I was given at work because I won a competition or something. I won something at work and I got a lucky dip and it was this tiny little Big Ben snow globe and I actually have kept hold of it. I think it's adorable. And then another print. I'd rather die in an adventure than live standing still and I love this print and I love this quote. I think it's from A Darker Shade of Magic. And then lastly, last little bit on the shelf, I have another Owl Crate card framed. And there you go, it's all of my bookish accessories. Hopefully you have enjoyed going through my shelf with my accessories. If you have, please give me a thumbs up if you fancy chatting about anything like candles or where I can get more candles because I'm evidently a candle junkie then please talk to me down in the comments uh, let me know where your favourite candles are from bearing in mind I'm in the UK so shipping from US companies is like so bad but let me know what your favourite candle companies are anyway and yeah if you fancy subscribing I'm always eternally grateful for that and I will see you next time with whatever else it is I do next <laughs>